morning everyone this is chicho we're on uh, may 25th 2019 and this is a live stream uh, open discussion on current events okay and um, we're doing this one early in the morning i had a request from europe to uh, do these earlier on the west coast canada hello hannah how are you doing um so it would be uh, sort of evening time in europe so we did this for uh, we're doing this at eight o'clock in the morning 8 a.m saturday morning political live stream germany you're here what happened i managed to be back now okay awesome 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 nice to see you hannah good morning chicho i have noticed in my area that prices are dropping for rent yeah two bedroom for 1600 uh what are the economic reasons why this is a case secondary more personal advice um financial should i move out on 25 or live with my parents a bit longer to save money my parents want me to stay and save uh, i would i would say stay Anna. okay that one's easy if you have a good relationship with your family with your parents with your siblings and stuff like this and everybody's contributing to uh to the household you know it, it doesn't have to be just uh, like it doesn't have to be money uh it could be time chores whatever it is if you have a working good relationship with your family stay with your family there's no one else that cares more about you than your immediate family or should be anyway right especially parents for children so they want the best for you sometimes it may not come across that way but they want the best for you and sometimes you you know you 100 you want the best for them as well and if there's any i'm just mentioning this because you know there's a little bit of friction between every family but if there's friction just work it out um one of the problems economic hardships that most people have had and continue to have in the western world in canada united states specifically is there's this whole mindset of you know people you have to leave the house early you know when they're 18 when they're 19 when they're 17 16 sometimes 20 early 20s and stuff like this and that that has put a huge burden on family savings family infrastructure and the only thing that is really done is enrich the rent seekers okay so this kicks us up into uh your first question which is rents are dropping rents are dropping here as well okay uh i'm in vancouver hannah's in seattle uh washington and i'm in british columbia canada um, uh, vancouver victoria so we're attached and this is sort of called the pacific for those of you that don't know uh this is sort of called the pacific northwest sort of if you go northern oregon uh washington state british columbia and i believe pacific northwest i don't know if it goes all the way to alaska but it does go fairly uh up north right and it's sort of a demographic that if if you were going to draw boundary borders based on sort of the mentality of the people that live in a certain area and the economic uh structure of that area and the climate the structure so it's basically um very similar even though there's a border between the two countries right so what has happened uh west coast uh wh one of the reasons is hannah is people are staying home hello lord how are you doing so in regards to why rent prices are dropping one of the reasons is people are uh, deciding to live longer together as a as a family right uh which is a great thing okay which is a great thing on many levels we can talk about later which is a great thing one of the reasons is is helping people save money the other reason is um it's hello x how are you doing uh the other reason is it's taking um stock away from the rent seekers okay so that's one of the pressures right now on um on the rent uh mar rental market right and if you're trying to rent out at a higher price the other reason is money laundering from the western uh, from uh, from different parts of the world is slowing down right some of the many of the pipelines are being cut and they're not being cut because our politicians are you know all of a sudden realize that there's money laundering going on and stuff like this right because they are all news money laundering 
Pepe, how are you doing in the hot uh, who way boycott really uh, showed how much and how much uh, uh, power and influence US tech companies have really scary really scary and how much power they're losing um, but just to in Germany there was a big incident and influencer youtuber made a video against Germany's biggest party uh, CDU Merkel's party it's called the destroying of CDU and has nine millimeters well, I, haven't, I don't think I've seen it it's 55 minutes long I haven't seen it yet but reaction of mainstream media is big and it seems it really has an impact on European elections tomorrow cool that's good Merkel's party should be should go the way of Theresa May's party and Macron's party all of those parties that have brought Europe to the edge of uh, should lose power I don't know why they're still in power personally um, Anna one of the other things that's going on with the with the rent prices coming down is uh, foreign money starting to pull out one of the biggest one in Canada anyway in British Columbia and it's happening in the United States as well very similar um, but China uh, basically the word has gone out that's my assumption I some things I've read some things I'm seeing and stuff like this so you know take everything I say with a grain of salt but in my opinion China from higher up has given the word Canada is no longer a safe place to park your money okay and money slowly starting will most likely start to pull out if not pull out it's not coming in as fast anymore right so the flow has slowed down and the only thing that was keeping the real estate market to this bubble level I can't like a lot of people who live in the bubble don't see the bubble right unless they have been involved in an industry for a long time right people from outside the bubble they usually see the bubble right they get a bird's eye view of the whole thing people here continue to say that housing prices are reasonable they've come down a lot a little bit so it's a lot they're not going for way over asking so oh wow it's a great time to buy it is a bubble and a half here still uh, we'll see what happens with the market uh, there's word that interest rates might be pushed down again in Canada and the United States uh, just to inflate the bubble again uh, you know version of QE and stuff like this but we're in flux right now if everything's equal if everything works out properly for the well-being of citizens of the country not the people who have overextended themselves and bought like multiple properties expecting to you know rent them out at peak prices and flip over their whatever they bought real estate to another sucker that wants to pay another five ten twenty percent more through every transaction right and that's sort of exponential growth right um, if that doesn't continue expect serious drop and what's gonna happen with this with the rental market coming down more rent rental spaces being available is some of the people that bought a peak price for a house they still have to pay the taxes for those houses for those properties they still have to maintain them and whatnot right and if they were they didn't leave themselves a serious buffer expecting things to change then um, they might be forced to start liquidating their real estate and once that happens it's going to be a spiral effect going down right once people can't afford to keep the properties they bought because they can't rent it out for a few months you know there's a longer turnover period or you get bad renters or the rent is not as high you start getting rollover effect where more property comes on market and then that in turn basically means that you know you're going through a serious re recession and stuff like this the job market that it's, it's a spiral effect right it's like a margin call on the stock market right uh, when people owe money and then their stock value comes down and they could only borrow so much on their on their uh, stocks and then they've overextended so they have to sell and the only way they can or they have to raise money and usually the only way they can raise money is by selling more stocks so they have to sell a little bit so the prices drop down even more doop, 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 doop. Right. hey Chicho, how are you doing looking 
good with that new too <laughs> thanks lasagna <laughs> yeah i'm loving it it's early morning today right today right eight o'clock in the morning i don't think I'm, we've done a political stream or current events stream at eight o'clock in the morning um i think we might have done other things at eight o'clock maybe maybe uh, so it's a little bit chillier side so i'll put my toucan martin how are you doing he he literally says don't vote cdu spd or asf spc cool if i don't if i was in germany i don't know who i would vote for martin early morning no you're not early morning you're texas where are you martin you're europe i can't remember where you are do you feel these rent prices will continue to drop through 2000 uh, 2020 to 2021 i would like to uh to lock in a good low rent with a roommate um anna first of all it's hard to lock in rent I, in my in my part of the world anyway you can lock and rent for a year and then they can kick it up like two percent so i guess two percent it is sort of locking it in it's with inflation so-called inflation right in my area i don't know what it's like in your area but the the landlords in canada anyway they've been renovating people so as soon as the rent market goes up they people have been there too long they go oh we're going to renovate the place or we're going to sell the place or we're going to move in ourselves and then they can kick you out and then when you're gone they just say oh we changed our mind and rent it again at a higher price hard to say Hannah. hard to say uh, speaking of bubbles even the bible says we live uh, in bubbles like this quote why uh, why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the uh, plank in your own eye cool another uh, here this one this is c.s lewis right fern seed and elephants okay this is a compilation of essays that c.s lewis wrote i like c.s lewis right i mentioned this many many times before right but this whole one of the essays in here fern seed and elephant is about people that are standing in a room if i remember correctly i read this a long time ago but basically there are people standing in a room uh, where they can see a fern seed on the ground at the far wall but they can't see the elephant in front of their eyes right fern seed fern seed and elephants right sawdust and planks bubbles and the bursting of bubbles right saint g is that video in german yeah is that video in german i'm assuming there'll be subtitles in there if it's a document oh no it's a person talking i believe right chicho on hot uh creamy coffee <laughs> what could be better <laughs> i got my hot tea here <laughs> hello rendell how are you doing how's life 1611 here in uk that's right uk martin my apologies for forgetting i'm starting to remember people's names and i'm pronouncing some of them correctly now so that's not a bad thing that's a good thing it gives me practice <laughs> it's like me telling my students to practice your mathematics is chicho practice your names practice your names um what else is going on gang there's a lot of stuff going on that the how how way stuff let's talk about that right the google coming out and saying that uh, they can't uh, use their technology anymore in their products the app stuff the android stuff and whatnot right that's huge that's huge okay it's going to be reciprocated and it has been already so what's that's going to do that might create a sort of a technological race hopefully in the next couple of decades where we're going to see serious innovation come up from both sides of the wall because i for me uh, i'm looking at this as the new cold war but in a bigger way in a gigantic way right because it involves china and the ussr together as one block with iran india sort of on the boundary right and basically what's happening is there's economic walls being put in which is going to be two main competing economic blocks trying to um capture the market right and certain countries well 
all countries really are going to start passing laws to prevent the technology of other countries from getting a foothold in their country it's crazy what's going on very cool summer's coming we have our garden going and everything's growing nicely also fire pits with john cougar melican <laughs> like <laughs> nice guitar songs awesome Hannah. i love uh and by the way john cougar melican i got a little story to tell a little interview i saw him right so john cougar melican uh, sort of on the same level, but less so, I guess, Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen is grandioso. John Cougar Mellencamp is, um, is phenomenal as well, right? His music is very, very powerful, right? But I saw an interview with John Cougar Mellencamp, and the interviewer asked him, he said, because John, John Mellencamp made it pretty big for a period, right? And the interviewer asked, uh, Malcolm, listen. You become famous. Is there anything that you regret? Anything that you consider compromising your principles? And this is what John Malcolm said, right? He said, "Yeah, the cougar in my name." Right? He goes, "When I when I first uh, was just starting out with the music." and was submitting my work and stuff like this with a record company i forget who it was said yeah well we like the music we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna distribute it however john mellencamp is not gonna sell so we're gonna put call you john cougar mellencamp to get that uh, power in there right and he had to compromise he, he didn't want it but he said okay so he didn't like cougar uh that's from what i recall it's a 50 miles to germany it's a 55 minute rant with ridiculous amounts of course sources he links to over 200 sources i think this only german okay that's uh, i like sources i like people that link to a lot of sources i should be doing more myself as well i have in my articles in the past a lot of sources i was linking to how we only got to where they are by stealing tons of IP from North American come North American King Canada gaming uh, North American companies in the 90s in fact they are they are why Nortel tanked so hard and fast I'm glad to see them finally being shut out okay King Canada gaming I know about Nortel and what you're saying about IP stealing IP stealing IP from North American companies I would paraphrase that right north american companies for economic reasons and political reasons and for shareholder value which isn't in the best interest of citizens of western nations right okay basically for money decided to close shop all over canada the united states and move the industry to china okay so from the 90s they basically started building their factories there from the 80s really factories they're moving outsourcing all the jobs and stuff like this so china sets up these factories they start making the products okay they're making the products they're making them so they're basically don't even have to reverse engineer them they're making them so i don't know if you call that stealing learning from that they might have done a few things but one of the largest companies in the united states that provides work for tens of thousands of people that is a multi-billion dollar company uh, that has made trillions of dollars over the years uh, made its money by stealing everybody else's property right we're talking about walt disney not also a lot of other companies right so stealing using stealing ip from you can't really say stealing okay it is the way the system works okay as far as nortel tanking the reason nortel tanked okay i know this right the reason nortel tanked was because by the late 1990s 1998 uh 1999 okay during that period the federal reserve of the united states led by alan greenspan was coming out and saying this is irrational exuberance because the stock market the nasdaq was going through the roof right one of the reasons was going through the roof was because 
people who understood technology realized what was going to happen just appreciate this Amazon okay went up to I forget what it was like three hundred dollars or something like this and during the peak okay and then it collapsed down to three and a half dollars now it's sitting at two thousand dollars right so some of those tech companies that irrational is when people shouldn't blah 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 right went up 10 times what they peaked at during the nasdaq bubble right and why did the nasdaq bubble collapse and nortel network was caught up in that Nas nasdaq bubble nortel network had patents galore when the patents came up for sale right uh, u.s companies bought them all up like uh, google bought it um, apple might have bought it and stuff like this nortel networks was a canadian company it was a powerhouse it was considered at the time a huge chunk of the tech community expected nortel networks to be one of the most powerful tech companies in the world in years for years to come right like people expected this now here's the reason why nortel networks collapsed and one of the main reasons that the tech bubble burst and one of the main reasons that and by the way after the tech bubble burst more than half the companies that got caught up in that thing were still uh, in business right the reason nortel networks burst was because the federal reserve in the united states under uh, greenspan came out with the mantra saying irrational exuberance because people were making too much money so what they did unprecedented if i recall correctly they raised interest rates i forget what it is 10 to 12 times in a row sometimes by 50 basis points so quarter or 50 cent uh, uh 0.25 and 0.5 every time percent every time right so all of a sudden companies that have bought from nortel network and nortel networks was selling product on the promise that they're going to pay so they were selling the product companies would sometimes give a little bit of down uh, down payment and then they would pay them when they had the money so nortel network was giving credit to people because interest rates were fairly reasonable and there was major growth right so even if 10 15 20 percent of those companies um, weren't able to make those payments if 75 percent were able to make those payments nortel networks would still make a tremendous amount of profit right but when the federal reserve kicked interest rates so far so fast so hard with the intention to collapse the tech uh, the nasdaq right like literally they had the intention of collapsing the nasdaq because legacy companies like uh energy companies uh, food and services and all these things people weren't investing in those so their stocks were lagging okay and the tech stocks were booming so they needed to collapse this thing so when they raised the interest rates so fast so hard all of a sudden the companies that nortel had given credit to right where they had borrowed money all of a sudden their payments tripled quadrupled right there because they had their interest rate had gone up so they couldn't make their payments so what ended up happening was a domino effect that hit nortel network all of a sudden this company that owed money to it, it was a bubble to a certain degree chain reaction but it didn't need to be collapsed that fast it could have adjusted itself right i mean take a look at what's going on now right and who the most powerful tech companies are in the world why isn't nortel networks one of them right why isn't it it's not because china ip come whatever stole north american ip that's that's uh mainstream corporate propaganda's misinformation okay misinformation really king canada gaming what happened during a tech bubble to north more network is a disaster for canada okay and it wasn't because china stole ip Things. it was because it was it was a design it was meant to, it they they forced it to happen and nortel man the patents 
that got liquidated when Nortel Networks went bankrupt, those patents were sold for chump change. And American companies, tech companies bought them, right? Chump change. Nortel Networks was sitting on some of the, on one of the, I believe it was the largest uh, uh, patent uh intellectual ip property out of all the other tech companies it was the lord like it was not if if not the largest one of the largest holder of tech patents in the world and it was forced to liquidate and by the way nortel didn't get nailed just nortel research and motion got nailed as well in canada okay and that was because of I wrote an article on this. Let me bring this up. Let me give this to you as well, since this has come up because this is huge. People really don't appreciate this. Okay. Uh, here we go. And I called. I titled this thing, and I wrote this in my original blog okay so this is i believe this is a repost that i did let me bring it down sorry if i'm not reading any of the any of the chat gang uh, right now i just wanted to okay i can't remember when i first wrote this uh i called this thing surveillance state killed blackberry and the saint fate awaits other tech giants okay uh and this one is uh what do you call it from 2013 and i believe i wrote this one earlier uh, on the previous blog and i posted it on here okay that's my take sorry about being really harsh but it's important to know in germany we have deutsche woven a, a company with 163 uh, thousand apartments public discourse is those companies are too big and raise rents they even calculate uh, to let apartments stay empty so they can make more money yeah for sure you ask what the vote in germany the uh, die lincoln left party die grun green party and die party uh satirical party already in eu parliament are all okay to vote uh also baba link yeah and uh, germany this is exactly what happened in Canada, united states one of the reasons that one company owns 160,000 uh apartments is because the when the bailouts happened in 2008 the your government western governments gave money to companies that were on the stock markets on wall street and, and their own basically group okay they gave them free money no interest rate basically okay and said do whatever you want to improve the economy improve the economy basically to them improve the economy was to prop up the stock market right so what they ended up doing they started buying up delinquent houses and apartments and stuff gobbled them up put them in a, and some of them were even demolishing houses right to reduce the supply in the united states that like it was incredible the theft that took place right and what they ended up doing they created REITs where they give you can buy the stock where you get a certain dividend yield per year and the stock market just owns all this property right one of the greatest the greatest scam in world history human history anyway recent civilization history gentle chaos ldr how are you doing hello chicho and chat any sources da, 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 da. heartland rock staples yeah right. bob seeger mellencamp tom petty and bruce the boss yeah 100 percent. and i listened to all of those gang uh mellencamp tom petty phenomenal tom petty so so good right bob seeger i listened to a little bit and bruce springsteen for sure dmt jackson how are you doing how's life how's life main causes were because people didn't analyze the pe ratio and statements resulting in under and out analyzed revenue cash flows also the stocks were overvalued like crazy people were fooled basically on the idea of internet agreed on that jackson for sure this is regarding north town networks and the tech bubble and stuff like this what happened was people saw the major companies doing really well and then all these little companies piggybacked on that wave 
and they came up with just it's basically like the uh, crypto all the new currencies that came in through Bitcoin and ripple and stuff like so but, 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 but there's a wave all that so, a lot of little guys got gobbled up they did have some patents their valuations were insane right uh, one of them was uh, <laughs> Oracle with uh, rim uh, not rim uh, red hat red hat came out and linux was going to be huge 300 price and then uh, oracle as soon as red hat came up on the same day i was following this stuff i was doing a lot of trading then after it was phenomenal it was phenomenal yes we call this privatizing profits and nationalizing losses 100 percent. that's exactly what it is germany so profits are for rich people but losses uh losses get bailed out by taxpayers citizens 100 percent agree 100 percent agree like enron hannah enron was a bigger nothing like enron was just pure man there's a documentary out there where they cut the power to california basically to a huge part of la and stuff uh silicon valley um just to raise the price it's insane right Chicho Live, you're right, and I do agree. The financial markets and patent liquidations were a huge component to their downfall. But espionage, poor IT security management was definitely a part of it. I agree with that too. I don't, I don't dismiss that. There was a little bit of that. There was poor management to a certain degree, but it wasn't the cause. Okay, the cause was centralized control of the economy, which basically means the federal reserve private institutions bankings those in power wanted to make sure that there aren't too many people having power at that time i was doing some other stuff online and talking with people i mentioned this to people and people were like looking at me going what i go look one of the reasons the tech bubble was collapsed so hard was because the surveillance state couldn't afford to have multiple companies producing laptops producing phones producing tech because if they were they had multiple companies around the world producing all of this technology all these components then they couldn't put their chips their surveillance devices their tracking software into every one of them right it'd be too much of a task so they had to collapse it to get control of what was going on okay and people were like Chicho, you're out of your mind I'm like, dude, no, this is exactly what's going on. And they're like, no, you're out of your mind. Okay. Uh, management, definitely part of it. Mind you, I guess that's true for all businesses. I'll post some sources when I get back to my desk, listening, watching from my phone while repairing some uh, stereos for clients. Nice, nice. I guess I'm just so sour sour about it because it affected my hometown so much personally now hundreds of people who lost their livelihood yeah king canada i'm i know many people i know i know many people that put everything they had into north town right or a huge chunk of what they had into north town right for me 99 percent of the blame responsibility federal reserve okay and silicon valley nortal was not part of silicon valley nortal and research and motion were not part of silicon valley i went to waterloo right research and motion was right across the street from us okay so uh i know that area well okay hi not bad i just got here <laughs> welcome sumor welcome to the live stream <laughs> Bay, hi. that's funny also the uh imam brothers bankruptcy galvanized the world uh lehman brothers yeah they freaked out the world right they let one of their own fall on the chopping block <gasps> look what happened if you don't do anything about it if you don't give us trillions of dollars we're all gonna go and the whole place is gonna go oh here's a check here's 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 the money from the citizens of our countries to Wall Street do with it what you will 
and they, oh here's a bonus dude thank you for taking our money and collapsing the economy oh you need more okay here's here's qe every month we'll give you more oh you need more you need more okay every month we guarantee that we will you know do this do this a crazy crazy robo signing it's okay you you committed high treason crimes crimes against humanity it's okay here's another check thanks for participating meanwhile like millions of people are going what's going on abortion law in u.s some you state uh u.s states are insane yeah i agree they're insane but that's what happens fundamentalism takes over right tank how are you doing how's life nice saturday today oh i got a little i i woke up early today i always wake up early not always but 29 out of 30 days i'm up around 5 5 30. i had some breakfast already my yogurt breakfast with fruit and cereal but this is my tahini good stuff i can hear birds am i going crazy no we have birds the birds here they're really singing at around uh, i think that's one reason i'm waking up really early right now uh, uh, they start singing around 4 30 in the morning four o'clock four four thirty in the morning birds just go crazy it's beautiful but it will wake you up if you're a sensitive sleeper Is crypto going extinct slowly no it's not going to go extinct Tyler. <laughs> sumor thank you my pleasure man the big short was just a good movie have you watched it Chicho? yeah i watched it it was a good movie it didn't include everything it it was a fantastic movie i really liked it on that front the vice or vice with um what's his name again um the main actor for the big short he also plays Dick Cheney as Vice, and that was fantastic as well. The Big Short was a good movie, fun movie, uh, but it definitely didn't go down the rabbit hole, right? It went a little bit, not much. You of uh, Ontario here, and very interesting take. I appreciate your time. I'll definitely check out your blog when I wrap up here. Okay, glad. I uh, hope you enjoy, man. Hope you like it. Um, that article is mainly about research and motion i i don't think i've written anything about nortel nortel before it was before i really started blogging officially i was on a lot of forums and stuff talking right i'm meeting my uh, girlfriend girlfriend's two best friends today never met them before any advice uh, <laughs> any advice um any advice you're meeting your girlfriends first of all treat your girlfriend phenomenal always really not just in front of her friends but always right um, the other the other advice is let them talk listen to their stories um, if they ask you questions be honest be sincere be straight up right uh, never lie don't lie if you are uncomfortable about answering a certain question just say uh, why don't we leave that word for later right or just say um how about, how about how about we talk about something if they if they really push it you know tell them drop them little crumbles of information you know that's and then and then you go that's okay and then ask them another question right uh, so engage with them talk to them uh, uh, yeah just be kind be a good person I think I'm good currently making cookies nice trying all different types of combinations nice I love doing that too Christian Bale yeah that's him he did a phenomenal job in Vice uh, it, it, well let me rephrase Dick Cheney is a war criminal of the highest magnitude uh, his assets should have been seized a long time ago he should have been put in jail a long time ago uh, him and his gang right you can say that about all almost all, every administration in the White House but Dick Cheney was a special type of a-hole right he was he was a special type of evil right 
Um, Christian Bale did an okay job showing the insanity of the whole thing and and the movie was really good because it had humor in it it was satirical it was over the top that like Shakespearean dialogue in there and stuff just to show how they perceived themselves to be right deflect everything <laughs> Martin that's uh, in regards to Hannah asking a question I'm meeting my girlfriends two best friends today never met them before any advice Martin's advice deflect everything <laughs> there really seems like such an excellent stream yes uh touring news how are you doing welcome to another stream thanks for liking the stream i think it's the two <laughs> don't try to flirt oh yeah jackson great advice hannah no flirting with any of your girlfriend's friends not that it should even need to be stated but <laughs> no flirting with your girlfriend's friends if they're fir flirting with you, St. Mart uh, Martin said it, deflect everything. Really. Don't spit food out. <laughs> Laugh. Humor is very important. Humor is very important. Uh, speaking of financial markets, German uh, physics Harold Leitch ranted about high frequency trade. Yeah, high frequency trading is 70% of whole trade volume at stock market in New York, 50% in German stock market. He also explained they put a uh, cable from London to New York via Atlantic Sea just so stock trade is six millions. Yeah, high frequency stock trading is crazy. Like the stock market is a bubble as well, by the way. And uh, Germany, one of the articles, um, one of the videos we put out, it was in regards to automation. If you do Chicho automation, the video should pop up and it's in the uh, playlist of um, uh, personal finance so if you go to YouTube oops I think this should bring up my website is it yeah it, it did uh, if you go to my YouTube channel personal finance automation I talk about high frequency trading in in that I believe I do anyway or in one of the other videos but I basically reference an article written by Martin Armstrong which is really important to read okay and he talks about automation and you can extrapolate that into high frequency trading and he talks about what happens when there's a hiccup in the algorithm of these high frequency trading it all it's all dependent on the code that is written what happens when all of a sudden there's a hiccup the code collapses there's going to be serious dumping of stocks most likely alcohol is medicinal especially during Ranch <laughs> alcohol can be medicinal, yeah. Hey, what up? It's insane. Dick Cheney's name describes what he is perfectly, yeah. Yeah. Have you guys seen uh, This Is America by uh, that six episodes put out by Sasha Cohen where he interviews Dick Cheney? Watch it and then watch Vice or watch Vice and then watch Dick Cheney. The, Dick Cheney interview. I can't believe he got the interview. What up, Chicho Dante? How are you doing? How's life? Mod Robert, solid advice, Martin. <laughs> yeah, deflect everything. How do you feel about companies developing so uh, software to recognize individuals based on their? I don't know what gate is. Okay, the company can DNA. I don't know what gate is. A company can uh, count to 95% accurately determine who a person is within 10 minutes of processing video. Yeah, I don't like, uh, I'm, I'm a privacy advocate. Um, I'm, uh, I believe in an anonymity. I believe in accountability. I believe in uh, holding power accountable. And I believe in a personal liberties, freedom, right? And you can't have freedom if giant corporations are constantly tracking you. That's, you're on a leash. They can direct you, they can control you, they can manipulate you, they can prevent you from doing things if they want to. Okay. Watch Vice the other day. As someone from the UK, the way Congress was bypassed seemed mind blowing. Yeah. 
what are we talking about ah, just jumping around a lot from 50 meters away I forgot that part from 50 meters away from 50 meters away wow. we, we got to keep track of China of how they're implementing their stuff because that stuff is going to be implemented here if we don't stop it All right no flirting but be nice if you and your girlfriend split up you got options my dude and anger pops in with his own advice i mean <laughs> i'm funny and angered that's funny oh, i'm missing a lot of chat same with algorithmic trading in us yeah i am, I am well brother how are you cool to catch you all here nice to in my opinion a lot of people lose their curiosity and open mind when they grow up i wonder why uh, current education system that's my take and the pressures of uh, them falling into the trap of the current economic system right and the political system for me mod robert works for me Oh my god that show is genius that show is genius <laughs> sasha cohen this is america it was really i can't believe the only one i felt bad about when he brought the the girl the reality star person and got her to say those things i felt bad about that because i felt like that was someone that was taking serious advantage of someone that's just trying to make it right she wasn't i don't think i don't watch those reality things but she, I don't think she was a bad person. She just doesn't understand the game at play, right? So I didn't like that one. Okay. Have you seen the video where Sasha pr uh, proposes a new service? <laughs> that was so funny. So funny. And he starts singing. <laughs> this is not there was one guy this is not calming us down <laughs> this is doing the opposite <laughs> that was too funny uh do you do trading yourself no i haven't done for a long time long time 20 plus years 20 years sorry i'm new here no it's a, no, you can ask questions i haven't done for no 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 i can't say not 20 plus years my heavy duty trading 20 plus years right or 20 years whatever it is um but i have jumped in every now and then just to Oh, take that however way you want right but wall street i consider to be a cesspool and no way i would leave money with them i experience this myself in some areas like music my interpretation is i still have curiosity but a lot of new music or movies or tv shows they don't show me something uh, really new anymore so i lose interest okay in regards to movies gang i just watched the movie last night um <laughs> oh my god hold on i gotta find it for you guys what was it uh it was a finland uh okay i'll i'll tweet it out to you guys it was a finnish heavy metal movie uh strip heavy strip heavy heavy something heavy strip finish i gotta find it for you guys if you're into music you want funny uh funny movie Heavy trip. Oh, I think it's heavy trip. Yeah, what a fantastic movie. What a fantastic movie. It's called Heavy Trip. Um, this movie. Here, let me get it for you. Here's the link for it. Okay. Get this for you this movie is one of the funniest movies it's called heavy trip heavy trip okay i'll tweet about this uh and i'll post the links in discord uh tomorrow or something right uh, one of the funniest movies i've seen for a long time and if you're into heavy metal music if you like your music touring news thank you for the best brother thank you for the support if you're into heavy metal music <laughs> it is fantastic fantastic really 
one of the there's a couple of things they did which wasn't that funny but an hour and a half movie like literally for half an hour oh my i was i was out like laughing out loud like so funny there's certain scenes in there which are if you know what uh, if you know the heavy metal music scene you will just piss yourself laughing okay fantastic movie I typed that so badly. Gaint is the way a person walks. Oh, okay. So from either in front or behind, this company can determine who the person is from up to 50 meters away. Wow, crazy man. I we have to. One of the things about this uh, touring news. One of the things uh, about the technology. I fully believe that anonymity privacy should be in our technology by design because legislature you know we have the right to privacy and stuff like this could be superseded they can crush it as we're seeing right now right so it can't be you know doing it through legislation through laws is good it's a it's a good buffer i guess padding but the way we have to implement this stuff is by design okay and the third factor in there basically by design I mean by mathematics make it anonymous right the third factor in there is holding power accountable you find corporations you find people abusing misusing personal private information of citizens and tracking people and monitoring uh, punish them hard hard uh, the corporations do you believe in universal income I feel that if we give out cash and housing to everyone for literally doing nothing there will be no incentive to work hard for your economic prosperity um, okay let me read Hannah uh, good question we've talked about this a little bit let me just get caught up with Chad if I don't answer it soon um, can you post it again and we'll deal with it uh, have you watched uh, childish Gambino movie Guava Island if not I think you like it. no I haven't seen that one lasagna Guava Island uh, I'll try to keep it in mind. If you remember, post this on Discord and film, uh, and we can check it out. Uh, touring news, like real world person of interest. I can link you the article I read. Cool, Chicho's laughing. Contagions. <laughs> I just sent it to. Uh, to you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Never shut up. Ba, ba, ba. Think. Do you think we'll ever evolve to a society that has liberated itself from the toxicity of monetary system? Yeah, I think so gentle gentle chaos yeah I think we have to and we will I think people have in pockets that just has to be grow right I'm really enjoying the stream can I ask what you do uh, for a living um, like right now I'm building content online I'm doing live streams doing the YouTube stuff um, bit shoots uh, creating content online and one of the things I'm creating uh, edu is uh, I'm trying to build a math curriculum online right because as far as I'm concerned if everybody in the world was literate in the language of mathematics the world would be a much more beautiful place and just place and fair place and we could move forward instead of going backwards right but I, I want to see us into the future in, in a positive light not in a negative light and my thing uh, my way of doing that my contribution is that is to tackle it from the realm of education and specifically mathematics so and i also uh tutor mathematics teach mathematics as far as my background education geophysics and mathematics and i worked 10 years as an environmental geophysicist speedy gonzalez replied in that right welcome to the chicho zone <laughs> welcome to the chicho zone if we progress to a society where money gets obsolete because its purpose gets better served by another entity or maybe the functions itself gets obsolete if we look in far future I'm sure money would be abolished at some point yeah I agree with Germany right like for example uh, let me read a couple more and I'll, I'll do a little follow-up on this he's a math teacher at the moment but has done many things in the past yeah I've done other things as well comic book publishing 900 number stocks <laughs> like 
it's I'm, I'm a human being i'm not narrow to one thing but right now i'm really enjoying live streaming creating videos and math content and stuff like this uh, you know you're good at this when you say it will make you piss yourself <laughs> soothing relaxing <laughs> just like star trek just like star trek right and it, just in regards to uh money slowly being phased out of society right uh there's on the negative side there's social credit being handed out by governments china even you know your credit score social credit system in the western world right that's only been implemented in the last 40 years or so in in large part when credit cards came onto the scene in a big way in the 1980s right in the 1980s when i went to university if you were in school in university you were guaranteed to get a credit card all you have to do is just go fill out the form and you got a credit card why did the banking institutions credit card companies do this because they knew we were financially illiterate and given access to money we would use it because we're starving students right so every student back in the 80s that went to university from my school anyway waterloo okay you just have to fill out the form you got a credit card i did <laughs> i got three two or three right by the time i graduated i had three right what is it student like me and i had maxed them out because i was a student starving student right so uh we transitioned from cash money in the bank to credit cards we're transitioning into a lot of societies trying to get rid of become cashless right and it's more than just credit cards it's you know direct transfers digital money and stuff like this and crypto is part of it and whatnot right so we're transitioning out of that and i think what's kicking in right now too because sometimes you don't you don't everything should not have a monetary compensation like you don't love someone because they give you money right you love someone because they return the love and stuff like this so there's certain types of currencies i guess certain types of uh, and of currency i'm using in a very loose way in terms of when you're interacting with someone when you're doing things with someone the exchange that you have is positive for both right sometimes it's just friendship sometimes it's sharing food sometimes it's going to a community event so there's different types of currencies if you want to think about it that aren't based on a centralized fiat currency central centralized fiat whatever right form of trade okay so slowly what we're seeing as well is social credit to a certain degree both positive and negative coming into play one of the currencies we have right now is how many people follow you how many people like your thing how many people share your content right that is a form of currency okay so for me when i put stuff out when the stuff picks up that has not not to me personally as, as in terms of the content that i like like i put out videos where they have a huge number of views and i love those videos just as much as i love the videos that have very very little i have videos out there that have less than a thousand views right and i have videos out there that have you know close to or if not over 200 i don't know like over 150,000, close to 200,000 views right i love both on the same amount but in terms of view count in terms of sharing and stuff like this this has a higher value that's a form of currency to a certain degree and people are satisfied with that trade and for me i'm satisfied with that i put that as phenomenal there is secondary uh, uh, effects from that right the ones that get a higher view you can get a little bit of funds from that the ones that no view you don't get any money from those right or shares from those and stuff like this but to me that's irrelevant the joy i get from that is amazing right so as long as i'm able to maintain my life pay my rent do what i need to do right have some savings and stuff like this and if i'm not looking to acquire ferraris and mansions and uh, travel all over the place to me that is what i'm working towards right <laughs> I 
just going to catch up a little bit. Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart. How did Patrick Stewart come to? <clears throat> I just heard about the Picard TV show. You think it will be good? Oh, he has a TV show. I watched trailer. Work on him. Why you are not start serious? <laughs> Yeah, Patrick Stewart is fantastic. Yes, I remember the Vineyard from the Next Gen TV show in France. Oh, yeah, that's right. In the holograph uh, chamber, he would go to France in the vineyards where the Borg were defeated near Earth. Great episode, Picard break, uh, Breakdown. Nice. Hey, Chicho, what's up? Hello, Nicholas. How are you doing? Are you still in Scotland, Nicholas? I hope this TV show will have the next gen spirit i mean like more humanistic not just violence like star oh star trek discovery yeah which i found not bad but not in the right star trek uh, star trek discovery that's the new one since you brought it up germany the first season i liked the second season horrendous what a piece of garbage what a piece of garbage if you want uh humanistic science fiction show in the light of star trek which is phenomenal deals with societal issues and technology and extrapolates that into multiple avenues and stuff like this the orville is where you want to be forget star trek discovery i uh, i'm not i don't care if it goes on for another 10 seasons right like i watched it until the end of second season and the last half of second season or even after the first three episodes of the second season every episode i was watching because i was already committed to it and i wanted to see how how i was hoping was going to get better and i wanted to see the thing play out what a piece of garbage i so regret spending time watching those re awful awful episodes uh for the sec at least the second season second half of second season working in the pub i have noticed more and more people are using non-cash payments more and more yeah it's very unfortunate martin i personally cash really okay i had someone check this out this is how retarded people have become right i was in a comic book store i was paying with cash for my comic books and it was on a wednesday so i i was going there on at the you know when they open up wednesday morning right now i'm not buying as much uh i'm on a budget so i'm not going there every wednesday morning i know what i'm picking up and i scan the racks if there's something really hot in the news i might try to go in there but in the wednesday mornings i was going there and usually if you're going to a comic book store on wednesday mornings when the comic store opens that's when the comic books come in every week you'll see the hardcore collectors there right so it's nice interacting with them but I was at the cash register. This was like last year. Paying with cash for my comic books. And one of the other regulars was like, cash? Oh, this is drug money. Or this is this is criminal money. And I'm like, what? What, what a retard, right? Because they see cash, they think this is drug money, right? And he's blurting this out in the comic book store. As well. I'm like dude i just went like this and the owner was like what and uh, one of the reasons i sort of stopped going early in the morning sometimes i don't want to deal with ridiculous people what else and he's a nice guy by the way he's a really nice guy he's a hardcore collector i talked to him about comic books but i don't like that mentality wells birmingham next week and then oh you're gonna go to wales and then birmingham next week and then the week after i'm homebound uh i'm great bro yeah okay awesome glad you're doing well and your friends uh i i hope you had a good time with your friends brother wales um anthony hopkins is welsh i believe i heard uh, welsh are very um very uh, <laughs> uh temperamental temperamental got a question for you chicho do you feel some kind of revolution is required to stop mega corporations from doing as they like feels like governments can only do so much to stop them and there's going to be 
an extremist breaking point for the right or left i think i agree that we're we're there's going to be extremists coming along but i don't think governments are trying to stop these corporations i think the governments are the corporations right the corporations are the governments they're one and the same right now right so i don't think people should be looking to their governments for help to save them from the corporations the corporations are totally control of most governments anyway canada united states most of europe <clears throat> china is just a large corporation <laughs> if you want to think about it so uh, and all that so uh, and it really depends what you mean by revolution cryptocurrency blockchain technology is a revolution live streaming is disruptive innovation revolution um, uh, boycotting even though it's been a major part of political movements for a long time uh, but boycotting, shaming and stuff is a revolution. So it depends what you mean by a revolution. Liam, how are you doing? Hope uh, hope the map helped you yesterday. Uh, by the way, Liam, I sent you a message. Thank you for the thank you for the donation, brother. Uh, you were asking yesterday if I got it. I ended up getting it yesterday for the map. Eleven days for the new Black Mirror season. Nice. I can't wait. Skip, speaking of comic books love your comic book streams Chicho. awesome awesome love doing them brother love doing them uh, fantastic i gotta do more uh, right now i've been it's end of the school year so i'm really busy with mathematics and with julian assange and a lot of things going on politically i'm really busy with those but i do we're gonna get back into um, a lot more comic books and a lot more uh, food and uh, mathematics once I finish with with the school year which is going to be in about a month okay people like to fall into echo chambers agreed Jackson agreed some fellow students in my classes always think they know everything have a lot of prejudices about a lot of stuff make up their mind really quick quick without questioning certain things if I try to tell them that they are wrong about something they are really stubborn about their opinions should i just ignore them uh pepe this is what i would do don't tell them they're wrong just drop little facts on them if they start going up blah, 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 tell them oh by the way did you know blah, blah, blah? <laughs> basically what you want to do is throw a wrench in their wheels cranking right so if they're in a, in a loop just cranking 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 just grab a wrench throw it in there and make it go click 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 and then if they dismiss dismiss it they get rid of their wrench and they go cranking again throw another one throw two throw three right if they're if they're caught in bs loop it's easy to find facts to 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 make their wheels crank slower at least pause that's that's the only way to do it that's the only way i've found anyway uh, unless you really want to confront them you don't care about them then you can really go off on them i've done that to some friends some take it well enough some don't i've my friendships have set, recent friendships anyway my long-term friendships that are people have been around my life for a long time they know me right they know i mean it by love with love and i'm pretty well informed and if i'm wrong if i find out that i'm wrong i'll come back and say oh by the way i was wrong about that like about something like a year later or something right but uh, newer friends that I've had sometimes they find me a little overwhelming once I go off on them doing it doing it with love hopefully they'll appreciate that later on <laughs> do you believe uh, universal income is economic? okay Hannah that's right economic sufficient I feel that if we give out so here's the thing with universal uh, income I think it's viable but not in our present system because our governments are completely corrupt so you give money to government let's say you give a hundred dollars to government depending on the government you're in 50 percent plus or minus right maybe 20 percent so anywhere between 30 to 70 percent and if you're in a crappy government 80 to 90 percent of the money you give them goes into bureaucracy and the rest of it goes towards whatever they were doing like it's like charities right don't give money to charities right it's it's wasted so the money is being siphoned out 
by institutions, organizations, and individuals that know that once a law comes into play, they can feed off that. They're like psh, leeches on society, right? So first thing we want to do is decentralize the whole thing, right? Before we even think about universal income. So you need to decentralize everything and put in blockers. So this cannot siphon up money off this. So we can't have multiple uh, multiple power houses trying to siphon from the same it's just from the same well if you want to think about it right so that's the problem is it viable it's a viable i think every country in the world right now except a lot of african countries some like there is there is issues for sure but every country in the western world okay has the ability to provide housing free housing free education and free health care to their citizens i think they have that capacity what they need to do is to hold power accountable okay period we haven't hold, held power accountable in the western world for decades okay and they have destroyed the safety net within our societies and the safety net is just logical right for any country that has a long-term economic viewpoint any country that has a long-term economic viewpoint that wants prosperity for the country and its citizens would provide free health care and free education to all of their citizens if you have a healthy population and you have an educated population then what you're going to have is a viable booming country okay really okay so that's the issue right now with uh, with money and I disagree with the statement saying that everyone for literally doing nothing there will be no incentive to work hard for your economic prosperity Hannah I work my ass off I'm telling you man I work my ass off people ask me this how much you know do you work five days a week I'm like five days a week what are days I work I work I work like it, to put it in their terms I work seven days a week sometimes I'm working at three in the morning right two in the morning I work more than anyone I know and I don't do it just for economic prosperity I'm doing it for as we talked about for different types of currencies right for me I want to make sure I'm able to pay my debts manage my finances have enough a little bit of savings a little bit of hobby right I'm happy with that man right so I could do that seriously I could have that right now working a quarter of the amount I do right now for doing geophysics easy right but I do quadruple that and I make less okay because it, my incentive is other it's not fiat currency it's something else i like cashless transfer it's more convenient and efficient it's just bad that it gives even more control to the banks yeah for that reason for sure i agree with you it's trans it's convenient efficient uh and you know whatever whatever right you don't have to carry as much you don't have to worry about it. it's more protection to a certain degree not really right um but there's no way I will give them that power. I don't want to give them that power. Recently, for example, recently someone sent me a link where you can open up an online bank account. And it's legit, right? And if, you know, it's a referral link. And if you fill it out, you get $50 in your account, they get $50 in their account, right? So for $100, right, you, someone opens a bank account, right? I went, okay, let's try it out. Da, 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 da. And in the terms of service, it said this, 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 this. Nope right i could buy a lot of comics for 50 bucks <laughs> revolution yes violent bloody no yeah yeah it depends what you're saying violent bloody no in my view we need more awareness and maybe boycott them by not consuming their products <clears throat> with saint germ saint germany 
I 100% agree. Vi if whatever violence we can imagine, the state can imagine infinitely more bloody things to do, man, right? I've said this before. Governments commit genocide, okay? I, I couldn't even imagine a bunch of, you know, five people getting together and deciding to commit genocide. They need the power of governments to do it, right? So violent is not going to work okay boycotting awareness uh, alternate economic systems political activity on a grassroots level in your community yeah 100 percent i'm 24 right now and thinking about going into the trading stock market field but i fear that by the time i master it the bots algorithms would be so much faster and better than me that I would have essentially wasted a bunch of time learning it. Any thoughts? Would you go into the trading field now if you started from scratch? Um, Ajubi, Ajubi, uh, regarding this, what you have to appreciate is the trading industry is changing, is morphing, right? So if we rephrase your question as this, what if you said, I'm 24 now and I'm thinking of going into the travel industry but i've heard that automobiles are coming into the market and the horse and carriage is no longer going to be a viable way to travel should i still go into the travel industry my reply to you would, would be learn how to drive a car learn how to make a car learn how to create products for the car right so just because the stuff is becoming bots and algorithms it doesn't mean trading is going to go away it means that programmers people that are you have to know mathematics for this right so just like many other fields in the world mathematics is now for the last 10 15 20 years is to, and longer if you look at uh, in the late 80s it's really kicked into high gear in the early 90s it really shot up with tech with programming and stuff like this right so technology mathematics really mathematics is the core of it now right so what's happening is uh, if you want to get into trading you have to learn mathematics you have to learn coding okay so basically you can approach it from two different levels you can approach it from the coding perspective create the algorithms to do the to do the trading or analyze the data to provide to the people who know coding to write the ideally you want both if you can do both your your money okay i don't even want to try to spell the name of the place i am in wales <laughs> why don't you uh make the bots algorithm yeah you enjoy myself exactly i'm a little late on the chat oh wow i missed a lot of chat da, 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 da. i'm gonna zoom through a little bit birmingham is my city oh martin you're in birmingham or birmingham is your city i'm not sure if you're in birmingham da, 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 da. okay i'm gonna skip the ones that are geared towards uh specific talk to someone else you were very helpful chicho sorry it wasn't much Oh, no worries, Liam. I'm glad I helped brother regarding the math yesterday. My pleasure. And thank you for the thank you for the thoughts. The thoughts count a lot, man. Thoughts count a lot. Right? Think, think. Ba, 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 ba. There will be ba, 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 ba. We've had to we've had that capacity for decades. Hey guys. I will walk around shouting Chicho or, <laughs> or grow a goatee. Wait, I have one. Hey, Martin, you got a goatee. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, what do you think about uh, Greet, Greet uh, Wilders? Is that the the girl, the teenage girl uh, that's doing the environmental stuff? Okay, let me do a little search because I'm way behind the chat. I don't expect to read the reply anytime soon. So let me do this. Greet. Oh, no, I don't. This guy is the... Oh, the Dutch ball. I don't know. I don't know anything about him. I, I, I've seen him. <laughs> I just recognize him because of his hair. Uh, but I don't know very much about him. I'm sorry. Uh, do you know about uh, Nicholas Taleb? Yeah. His opinions on AI? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I just finished reading this. 
great book worth reading we did we put out a whole bunch of videos on this jackson uh in marcus or particularly in financial risk will make you comprehend about this stuff oh you're talking to uh, what you want to call it my apologies i gotta read that okay thanks i shall be on the lookout for someone with a goatee shy chicho <laughs> nice nicholas fest <laughs> hilarious don't get arrested you're a shining light in this world ah uh, thanks uh, gentle chaos may your light shine ever uh, dude, I just, it's, it makes me happy it's very selfish what i do is i consider what i do is very selfish i i want a better world and i'll work towards it and it makes me happy right i appreciate it that because i'm doing this thing other people are appreciating it and enjoying it really that's that's it i wouldn't be doing this if i didn't enjoy it okay i'm also quite short <laughs> martin <laughs> hilarious how is the government healthcare in canada is it high quality or are there long lines there are long lines hannah canada healthcare used to be much much better and it's collapsing and it's becoming privatized and it's basically turning into an american system and with the new trade laws that are being passed canadians or canadian drug prices are going to go through the roof and just because of that uh, hundreds of thousands of canadians are going to suffer uh, tens of thousands actually over the next few decades millions of canadians are going to suffer and hundreds of thousands of canadians are going to die because they can't afford their medicine straight up okay it's way better than the united states but it's collapsing the mathematical models play such an important role in uh, quant, uh, current finance or financial uh, quant quant finance and financial ENGG uh, without these models risk software especially won't be developed at all stats probability distribution etc are all ingrained in financial options operations yeah 100 percent. yo bro where are the best friends where are the three best friends where are the three best friends how are you doing welcome to a stream chicho i am reading talab's book too such a genius i would say his take on probability uh, is um uh, is out of this world yeah one of the things he read was well, i won't bring it out i don't know where it is exactly is you know basically you know if you have it's the same thing uh, we've talked about this where casinos uh you know skim off one percent two percent three percent five percent ten percent or whatever it is if any system you're involved in or if, if there's risk of five percent of failure right people say oh i'll take the risk it's only five percent and nothing happens they gain and they go oh that was great i'll do it again now one of the things to keep in mind when you're taking risks is if you're constantly taking risks where even if there's five percent one percent of failure and 95 or 99 percent of success and you constantly take this risk at some point you're going to lose everything right the reason being is 99 times out of 100 you'll win okay the one percent you lose it so cumulative risk is not a good idea no joke this is the best live stream i've been in have some imaginary digital love hugs oh thanks brother thank you i'll give you a hug <laughs> in my opinion most of the people that talk about ai lack fundamental understanding about it just uh spread pop science sci-fi opinions yeah on average how many books do you read a year oh uh, liam for me i'm uh, not very many i'm a slow read i read a tremendous amount of articles so full-on books if you don't include we're not including graphic novels comic books and stuff like this right if we're talking non-picture books if they have graphs and charts okay <laughs> right i don't read very many okay uh, Jabba, thank you for the twitch prime sub okay i don't read very many uh i read a ton of articles i watch a ton of interviews a ton of lectures um, i haven't done so for a while now for a few years but i used to listen to a lot of audiobooks so that's the way i consume my information financial engineering financial engineering that's what it was i was going to e e n g g 
I wasn't sure what, what it was, financial engineering. Da, da, da. Cool, did I catch up with chat? I caught up with chat, nice. Um, Pepe, I hope you will get a thick skin about this because there will always be people with other opinions which you consider wrong unless you live in a bubble or echo chamber where people around you just share your views but i guess you will always walk across people with opinions you may find wrong and you can't change their minds yeah i agree with that 100 percent. yes but in my uh, case they try to convince me with their scientifically proven <laughs> wrong opinions then find counter opinions and here's one thing pepe if they start saying scientific a lot of people have no idea what science is right what the meaning of science is write down what science is and science is just steps scientific proof do this do this it has to be uh, you have to be able to uh, redo it i forget what it is uh, Oh, I'm losing words right now but so write down the steps of science scientific proof and whenever they bring us science you bring it out read it da -da 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 -da. is it proven can you uh, recreate it and all that jazz and then create a and then one of the things you have to do with science is any theory that you can find a one counter example where one example where that theory falls apart that theory is not valid find those examples thanks just wondering how wondering on how to get a, uh, as smart as you oh, i'm older than you man liam i'm pretty sure i'm older than you uh, it's time i i put the time in where it was needed uh, unfortunately traumatic events uh, life brings on you I had a friend here um, a few days ago and they went through they've recently had a traumatic experience and uh, I told them you know the one real word that I have life is amazing you guys know I like life I love the, 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 the. but one descriptive word you can have for life uh, this life that we live is brutal right really life can be brutal okay when life is brutal to you you either got to learn fast pause and just breathe or you get destroyed don't get destroyed move fast do what you need to do so you can pause breathe think about what happened and adjust your life accordingly The stream is amazing. Thanks, Jab. I appreciate it. Wonder if we can make another the cure video. I will when uh, when we get fruit season coming in. I want to get fresh fruit to make the liqueur videos. Uh, so in the summer, in the summer we do. Grow an epic beer to gain knowledge. Grow an epic beer to gain knowledge. <laughs> Good scam artist technique to take one hundred people and tell them who to bet on in a horse race. Yeah, the twenty people who win come back and you charge them five dollars for the next tip the one guy who wins again comes back <laughs> you can charge charge them almost anything for the next tip because you are right twice in a row <laughs> utah jazz that's awesome that's good chicho is the full beard still coming it will be at some point nicholas for sure it will be for sure it will be i'm gonna have to go tea until the end of the summer that's for sure We'll see what brings on after that. Replication, replication. Yeah, you have to be able to replicate, uh, observe, hypothesize, experiment, replicate, uh, conclude, or something like this. Then input more input, <laughs> input more input. <laughs> Look at more data, Chicho. If I make a YouTube video describing a mathematical problem that I'm trying to solve would you analyze it on next week's math stream i'll post the video link in the math discord channel uh, gentle chaos as long as it's math that i can i can do right like my math level i don't consider myself to be a mathematician but for sure make the make the video uh, if you're okay with it i'll take a look at it and then we can try it out 
um, in next week next week's uh, mathing thing I think that's a great idea actually okay uh, hopefully it doesn't take me two days to to solve it to do it to give you uh, to figure it out or a day even because I'm really crunched on time right now if I know about it I'll keep it in mind and I'll make little notes if I need to and we'll deal with it for sure I'm game with that we, we haven't had that before I'll be fantastic actually why not kick that into gear and if it becomes a thing it becomes a thing we do any tips on kicking a bad habit uh, I'm trying to watch less uh, useless YouTube videos per day but YouTube as a uh, platform can also be very educational so I can't I don't want to just block the site any thoughts yeah uh, a job a um, I have that problem as well I sometimes like for example I watched Star Trek Discovery the second season garbage and all of a sudden I just got pissed off and I'm refusing to watch anything that is subpar now <laughs> I'm just done like I don't want garbage right so one way you can do it is you can use forums if you like like lectures go to certain forums and say or do searches before so don't surf YouTube itself surf outside of YouTube so if you want to watch lectures search what's a you know lectures on the environment and if you have certain things you want to have in that lecture put those on there and just watch those another thing you can do is find trusted sources and just watch those like for example there's playlists that I have we have like you know one of the playlists that I've I haven't watched any of it for a while the person's got like 50 videos and it's just lectures that he's doing to a class and it's about physics and mathematics and such I've gone through half of that so whenever I want to sort of a uh, intellectual experiences stuff like this I have that, that lecture series I go to if I want political stuff I go I go watch Chris Hedges lectures Max Blumenthal uh, I, I got a whole bunch of political stuff if I want animation I go track down uh, like for example uh, Space Dandy Samurai Champloo and Cowboy Bebop were directed produced by some of the same people so I check those there the directors or the studios that made that stuff and I find something else and I link so what you can do is forget about watching videos to see if they're good or not do the research before you decide to watch something right that's what I'm doing myself okay and what you're gonna find out initially is gonna take a fair bit of time right but what I found out over the years is I have trusted sources that I go to so I'm never lacking from consuming phenomenal information phenomenal entertainment phenomenal music I don't lack it right I do research and I have recommendations that people have been posting here that's one of the reasons I'm sharing a lot of info on discord as well I'm posting there and stuff and other people are are, are as well right so if we want something really good we can go to that folder and just look down to see if anything we haven't seen and then click on it and watch it right so it takes a little bit of back and work but slowly you're going to build your library where you're going to have a library of places you can go to and just pick anything you want phenomenal and do right may i ask you if you follow any religious beliefs uh no liam i don't believe in I, spirituality for sure and i have uh, belong to churches and stuff like this in the past right but for me uh, organized centralized religion is toxic poison okay as far as us are concerned being is there more to this material world more to this tube that I'm wearing 100% we are spiritual beings there's no doubt about it right we're just animating the body boop, 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 boop. Oh, look my fingers are moving how am I moving my fingers right like we are not just our bodies or our our property right we are beyond this do you believe in Montel Williams is a scam artist Montel Williams I don't really follow Montel Williams I don't think so he's the is he the black guy the talk person the talk show host dude I don't know I don't follow his stuff is he that guy yeah I don't know you know I don't watch the stuff I don't know too much about him so I can't really say I don't know. 
unsub from channels that don't provide constantly good content yeah Dante I agree with that exactly and turn on notifications on your YouTube channel right what I've been doing recently in the last year is turning on that notifications so I follow certain channels not that many like I only have like five or six that I have notifications turned on and whenever they pump out a video I get it in my email and I click on it and I'll watch it if I want to right some channels provide a few videos per week some just one or two right thank you gentle chaos king it says my pleasure also don't use the recommended feature. yeah don't use YouTube and turn off YouTube automation just go by your sub feed yeah like seriously and for me I don't even go to my YouTube for some I, every, I do actually every now and then the YouTube something but I have folders uh, in my browsers and I use multiple browsers folders in my browsers that I go to and I have sources that I check out right and YouTube is horrendous in terms of trying to manipulate you right I turn off my autoplay but every now and then it's back on again so I have to keep on turning it off for my playlist on YouTube I organize my playlist most of my playlists, some of the ones that aren't active right now I have the first videos that have an introduction those on top but in general the videos that I load on YouTube those playlists I always organize for the most recent first but YouTube resets them and does a shuffle or whatever it is it's just messed up right they're manipulating things in the background brutal how much do you watch a day says I think Chicho uh, I think Chicho if you just study a month of quantitative finance think you could easily be a market risk analyst or freelance in risk management uh, to a certain degree Jackson you need the mathematics though you need you need stats so it's not the uh, quantitative finance aspect I think this is in regards to or is, is this about me yeah if it's if it's me if you have a math background you could definitely get into finance right away get in there just all you have to do is learn the terminology and the ratios that they're talking about that's all right but for the person that was asking who was it uh, was it Liam was it Hannah no it wasn't Hannah uh, someone that was asking earlier they wanted to get into uh, programming and stuff if you have the mathematics just go learn the terminology and look at the different models and stuff like this if you don't have the mathematics you have to learn the mathematics first I'm cautiously optimistic for this new Picard series but yeah discovery is terrible so is the new Picard series like a Star Trek science fiction or is it Picard you know vineyard making wine can you post a discord uh, the list of articles you would recommend do you use mostly Twitter for them uh, Jackson if you go to my about page on Chicho here let me take you to the about page on Chicho Chicho about I haven't updated it for a long time okay I haven't updated this page for a long time the lists anyway but in this list I have a whole bunch of stuff listed you know there's introduction teachers worth learning from books worth le reading here let me give you the link first oops where are we let me pop up chat again uh, hopefully I linked it properly um, and the categories I have is introduction teachers worth re uh, learning from books worth reading comics and graphic novels courses and playlists worth uh, investing in programs worth having documentaries worth watching lectures and and interviews of interest articles and documents worth noting music worth listening to electronic live electronic music to attend animation to blow your mind art and design worth viewing news and blogs worth scanning movies worth the time resources and tools sound bites like I broke it down into categories according to that uh, but keep in mind I haven't updated this for a long time right so um, which I'm gonna call it uh, the, they might you know the recent stuff I'm posting uh, I'm posting some of the lectures on discord I might start posting a lot more on discord and I'm thinking about kicking up my Twitter feed uh, if you guys want me to kick up my Twitter feed start sharing more of the content that I'm viewing consuming myself let me know 
and I will okay I have kicked it up a bit but I consume way more than what I'm posting on Twitter okay as far as information and stuff goes so if you guys want to I can kick that up machines basically completely agree with you Liam says uh, did I miss Utah Utah I am very optimistic about the card I stop I completely I think we're just bodies think there's nothing like my life and your life right also the physics and uh, psychological accumulation is also not us let's seek inward to look for more ex existential truth and for spirituality I agree with Jackson because we're constantly being manipulated right we seem uh, to end up in a lot of the same streams ah you guys are talking good if the series is nothing but Picard making wine for 10 hours it would still be infinitely better than discovery I agree with you Tom. it would be infinitely better than discovery Picard's return to Starfleet after long is that what it's about Martin Picard's return to Starfleet after long absence Wow I'm in I'm in I'm in when does it start it's very interesting you can draw the line between me and outer world very arbitrarily you could say I am just awareness aware of my thoughts and my body or you could say I identify with my body because I can manipulate it or even I identify with the whole universe because I can affect the whole universe cool yeah yeah that gets asked a lot and is a big struggle in my life I try to promise myself work that I'll uh, put in our objectives I'll achieve keep away from my phone keep away from your phone right let's make some wine <laughs> make it so <laughs> what are you talking about just got here ah oh, Eduardo how are you doing uh, right now we're talking about Jean-Luc Picard making wine and his new show which isn't about making wine it's about him going back to Star Trek but I don't know when it's, it was um, what do you call it uh, has it already started or not I just replied to the statement we are just bodies machines hey folks Nicholas got to shoot off here I'm off to buy a replacement smartwatch the last met and on time the end on a rock face <laughs> have a great stream folks chat soon Chicho. chat soon Nicholas have a great great rest of your vacation I hope you enjoy Wales uh, we aren't just biological bodies we are not just biological bodies that's the best way of putting it Jackson we are not just biological I think he missed the question I'll ask him again how do you tackle procrastination laziness oh okay um, thanks for bringing that up again I, I, I think I've replied this like my motivation videos I have a playlist uh, well motivation of how to how to study videos those go through some of the ways I I organize myself to get work done right I have more stuff to create regarding that uh, especially motivation and whatnot uh, one of the things is uh, well a few things one of the ones is this came up before in a previous stream but a lot of things about the world piss me off about the system right our economic system our political system our justice system the environment like a lot of these things piss me off so anger for me uh, is a motivation but I've learned how to uh, focus my anger in a constructive way not a destructive way which is to share information and to try to uh, help in pushing us in the right direction right or the direction that I perceive to be the right direction so giving a shit is is one of the one of the things that uh, is a motivation for me okay one of the other motivations for me is um, a life right I've I've had some experiences in life and I put stuff out if you do Chicho advice to those who have lost loved ones those were a couple of huge events that occurred in my life right 
So realizing that life is very short, and I put out math videos regarding that. If you do Chicho um, uh, perspective of time, I put out a video saying, as you get older, you have less time to live. You have a certain lifespan. And I did a little ratio and stuff like this. So realizing that we're here for a limited amount of time motivates me, right? It gets me to the point where I just want to do, right? There are times, and by the way, I don't do all the time. There are times where I take long breaks. Those are my major Bill Hicks breaks, right? Where I just chill and explore inwardly, as Jackson says, go internal again and rearrange, recreate, re -more, you know, re-understand, relearn, and try to incorporate certain philosophies, things that I've learned into my life, and come back out again and create. Because life is a cycle, right? You can't function. You can't put your foot to the metal every time pedal to the metal every time you get into the car the car will blow up right so my motivation is i like doing but i also do things in extreme i believe in extremism and moderation right so if i'm going to be chilling doing a major bill hicks break i take a serious time off okay for a few weeks or a couple of months two to three months right it's rare now that i take three months off but could be a month off right where i just breathe think meditate read uh look at the world right disconnect from the internet and stuff like this so extremism to a certain degree for me works that's uh, one way i don't procrastinate i should be studying boolean algorithms <laughs> boolean algorithms yes but it's difficult to give good definition of what we are in fact at least for me i can't define it very precise yeah not biological beings is good not just biological beings there are only two mistakes one can make along the road to truth not going all the way and not starting yeah not starting i would say there's only one not starting if you're it's the the purpose of life is not the ending of life it's not the end the purpose of a race you know I guess is to win that's the present way it is but the purpose of a game is not the ending of the game the outcome is, is a good thing to have but the purpose of the game is to be in the game right so I would say uh, not starting the journey is very important Chicho, angrily motivated to spread information about the world are you super sure you're not related to certain <laughs> thank you is that what he said to think i don't know i think anger is a huge motivation for many people who create a lot of content okay uh chicho what are your thoughts on meditation do you meditate i do i go through periods where i meditate a lot i'm very interested in the power of psychedelics but neither i have access to them neither i feel ready for them so i think meditation would be a great exercise does that make sense for sure eduardo and if you're if you're not ready for psychedelics or don't want to engage in psychedelics meditation is is phenomenal and one way you can get into meditation is go to the core principles of you know if you want to do tai chi or uh, yoga i think one of the both of those disciplines have serious meditation practices uh, in their teachings right or find another way or find your own way to meditate right but for me meditation um, I've mentioned this before it's walking meditation it's uh, entheogen meditation uh, but I do take serious times but too much by myself right I take time off like I don't have technology with me all the time like I don't carry my phone with me all the time okay like when I go to the park or go to nature, or go to the beach where I take books to read, and comic books to read, or I took my notepad to organize certain videos, what I end up doing is uh, I go there for six, seven, eight, nine hours. And after a while, when you're in the same spot, and you start relaxing, right? When you don't have constant distractions, you look out into the ocean, you look in the mountains, you look at the star people watching, to me that's meditation highly recommend i live in a muslim household and they're 
Islamic beliefs have a lot of collusion with my scientific and moral beliefs. What advice uh, could you give to ensure they have very minimal effect on my future? And would you advise me telling them that I don't want to follow the religion? Uh, Liam, here's one thing. Personally, to me, spirituality, like from my perspective, spirituality is very personal. Okay, so you're not obligated to share with other people what your spiritual beliefs are, right? Just because other people are flaunting their spiritual beliefs and holding crosses up on top of their heads or whatever on top of their heads or whipping themselves with with lashes or circumcising themselves or whatever it is that they're doing to portray their spirituality in a physical form it doesn't mean you have to abide by that right if your religious you know religion is coming up what you can do is tell them listen my spirituality is between me and my spirituality i have no desire to partake in a debate in this right uh, i'm not sure if i'm answering the question but uh, it is and if you really want to confront them confront them i've confronted people right i had people on dinner tables you know during christmas time or easter time whatever it is for christianity to say you know this this do prayer and i say and here's to the magic mushrooms right because there's people that believe that uh the word jesus christ was a code word for magic mushrooms for entheogens and stuff like this like just throw wrenches in the loops play the devil's advocate if you really feel like it if you want to confront sometimes it doesn't go over well right sometimes i regret doing it so it's up to you how you want to do it but spirituality is very personal there are only two mistakes why well, yeah, i don't oh, i have read it in opposite chicho would you agree that motivation is crap because it is uh, transient as it comes and goes yeah i agree with that you go through phases sometimes you don't want to do anything sometimes you want to kick your brain into neutral and watch garbage right just nothing right what keeps us going is when we are obsessed or driven about something is this context uh, motivation is not really a requirement they categorize it as intrinsic and extrinsic motivation but all this takes is a high level of willpower and extreme amount of obsession uh, to a certain degree i think uh, jackson i agree with you first statement where it's transient it comes and goes but motivation really doesn't mean you're motivated to do something you may be motivated not to do something you may be motivated to go relax right so a lot of people i know have a hard time getting into their own heads and their own bodies so they have to be pushed into that so motivation right now has a con uh, sort of a meaning that you're producing a lot you're making a lot right so it's one directional it's like the stock market a lot of people think that the only thing you can do in the stock market is buy for things to go up no you can bet against the market and make it go down right so motivation to me is it has a weird meaning for me it means doing what you want to do whatever that might be we are pure conscious consciousness residing in a uh, cyclical nature of cosmos the only way to attain nirvana will be seeking for eastern practices mm, i don't know if it's eastern practices i think western practices have tremendous amount of power to them as well the Native American community in County United States is Western, if you want to think about it that way. The psychedelic community from the Pacific Northwest that has popped up from here and is huge in the Pacific Northwest is a Western mentality that's incorporating some of the teachings from uh, the Americas, South and Central America with psychedelics, as well as like Pacific Northwest where we live has the highest concentration of magic mushrooms in the world. So there is a certain philosophy mindset being that has emerged from this area right but i like where this is going with existential philosophy nice robert 
that depends on very much. Uh, religion is a swasana, it is swasana. Thank you. That is very helpful. Dante, we'll see. Da, 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 da. Uh, what did uh, Liam say was thank you? That was uh, Dante's reply. That depends very much on your specific situation. If they will make your life miserable, you should uh, work towards full independence ASAP. If they are more tolerant, you can take your time. Oh, great advice, Dante. Great advice. Dante, well said. Well said, Dante. Nice. I use uh, paraphrasing in a heated situation. What are your thoughts on instant gratification or short term pleasures like video games, pornography, movies, uh, series, etc., that people tend to over consume nowadays? Uh, if we take out the overconsumption part, I'm okay with short term pleasures, video games, pornography, movies, or TV series and stuff like this, or comic books, or whatever it might be. But the overconsumption of it to an addiction level, I disagree with it, right? That's destructive. That's what they're going for, right? That's once you get into that mindset, you know you're being manipulated by the corporations. And if you're not in favor of these corporations manipulating our society, and when you find out they've manipulated you, you should be pissed, and that should motivate you to stop watching them, right? Science is like a dissecting tool. People, uh, people that science is the ultimate plot. People that think that science is the ultimate platform, which will reveals our existential truth. People that science. People, think that's it people get uh, pedantic on that subject there are higher dimensions assessed by people way before we all uh, were born and they really reach states of higher consciousness which were about intellect agreed like science I think uh, what Jackson is saying here uh, people believe yeah uh, like what Jackson is saying here is science is not the end-all and be-all of everything there are also uh, ancient practices that science hasn't proven that are valid but who gives a crap science the scientific method is a fairly recent thing if you consider human history human civilizations uh, multiple civilizations have been around for hundreds of thousands of years right going back some people say they have i tend to believe them right then the scientific method is not the end all and be all of everything it is an extremely powerful tool but there are things that science has not had the opportunity to dissect either because of legal legality or other factors belief systems or we don't have the technology Chicho, what do you think of alan watts i like alan watts if i'm thinking about alan watts the uh thing the guy had to talk really slowly and stuff like this i, I listen to a lot of his lectures i mean are his videos and his uh, readings uh, I liked Alan Watts. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't know anything about him personally. Some people say he was this, this, this. I don't care, right? I, I care about their teachings. In in July, porn sites will be subject to age verification. Wow. So what you call consciousness? Okay, I'm gonna skip that one. Yeah, uh, surely Chicho, I must have rephrased it better. But I highly disagree that psychedelics will be a tool for mass evolution of consciousness. I think they are. I think one of the reasons we are, uh, Jackson, we are seeing a lot of things taking place right now is because of um, entheogens okay, or psychedelics. People in East did it by natural methods without external substances. Yogi under, yogis understood bodies and manipulated them like no other. I uh, agreed with you there, but I disagree with you that psychedelics have not had a profound effect on our civilization. They have a tremendous effect on our civilization on every front. May it be through music, may it be through um, uh, film, may it be through technology, may it be through education, may it be through multiple other things. I think they have a huge effect, as have done the yogis. Nice vocabulary martin says yeah nice vocabulary jackson there's a couple of words here you've used that i didn't know what they were one of them the previous ones 
as in click here if you're over the age of 18 or else leave <laughs> yeah. I have students that do that like all kids do that over 18 no I am being very lenient right now Jackson I would very much like to go there please nice nice oh wow 10 o'clock look at this what glaring failures do you see in PC uh, censored and cancelled culture what uh, future determines uh, detriments do you think this mindset will cause our civilization and do you think people will tone down wow Liam you're asking this question two hours in this stream <laughs> nice uh, first of all censorship the political correct collect uh, correct culture and uh, or the council council culture I don't know censoring I don't know what council culture refers to that's new to me but censorship political correctness and all this crap is basically what it's doing is giving power to centralized institutions right so you're giving power to <laughs> sorry that's, uh, power is giving uh, is being given to institutions that are controlling the discourse in our societies and that's fascism that 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 leads to the fascism a dark space faster than cliff jumping into a water right it's horrendous right anybody that agrees with someone else being censored is an idiot <laughs> no offense to anyone right with full-on censorship by the way if we're talking about uh, stuff associated with children and whatnot that's that's different game right we're talking about political censorship opinion censorship right the censorship is the demise of cultures societies this fast track road to uh, <laughs> cliff jumping <laughs> cliff jumping not into water but on flat concrete it's a boom, hard hit at the end be right back Germany I think I'm gonna kill the stream I think we're almost done up time Boop. we're up for two hours nice nice I have a student in an hour I gotta go or an hour and a half or so I gotta go see them I, how do I invest in commodities with only a hundred dollars you don't buy some gold not even the fees on that buying gold would be like thirty dollars uh, if you have a, only a hundred dollars look into different things to invest that would be my recommendation their park live or take that hundred dollars put it on the side and then over a certain amount of time put another hundred dollars and while you're putting money aside to be able to invest in commodities while you're putting that money aside go to websites and start doing uh, virtual trading virtual buying and start looking at the mathematics learning the learning the terminology understanding what the ratios mean and all this jazz so while you put money aside from sources available online start experimenting and learning what it is that you want to get into right cancel culture has been defined as a makeshift digital contract wherein people loosely agree not to support a person oh okay especially economically in order to somehow deprive them of their livelihood okay that's the deplatforming stuff you're talking about Liam. yeah horrendous horrendous if this mob mentality online to take uh, the livelihood away from individuals is fascism <laughs> they just don't get it they're doing it right by the way I read that uh, polarization was going to uh, be the main topic of today yeah we we're trying to we, d we didn't go that way. well we did a little bit I guess but it's fun to uh, digress and, uh, and swerve so Chicho can you talk about social media causing political polarization yeah the reason this uh, political polarization is happening Jackson uh, just quickly is because of censorship and control of information right like people that only get their news from Facebook are I can't even engage them anymore when I engage them they freak out because they're tweaked to be very sensitive they don't have all the info not even close 
to what's really happening in the world. So they're polarized, they're living in bubbles. So polarization is basically the whole concept of people starting to live in bubbles, right? Those bubbles are going to burst. I pity the people who have been polarized because they are going to have serious regrets in their lives, okay? And or they're going to commit horrendous crimes that they will regret in their lives. Hopefully they will regret in their lives, okay? That's the end all and be all of this polarization. There's a lot of morons being created that are extremists that really don't know what they're partaking in, okay? That is making the world miserable for themselves and for other people. And when their bubbles burst, they're going to be left being shell of human beings that they thought they were. I pity them, okay? Do you think we should watch the news to be aware of what's going on in the world? Or should we stop watching the news in order to be not be stressed about something we can't afford uh regarding news first of all what are your news sources if you're watching corporate propagandists on cable television or mainstream news like bbc cnn if you're just reading the guardian uh abc cbc whatever major news sources your western governments have yeah stop watching those that's just garbage that's just garbage but personally no i still consume news um, but i look at it from a uh, from a perspective from a lens where I, i'm trying to see where we're headed in the world i don't care about the little fluctuations right so forget about the little minor uh what do you call it uh, 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 minor topics that the corporate propagandists try to get people to be really upset about or offended about right forget about the being offended about something right take a look at the long game can i play devil's advocate on the censorship and say when you have people like alex jones calling for violence because it gets some attention maybe he deserves censorship i'm not sure i don't agree he deserves censorship but if you're calling out for violence you deserve to be looked at you deserve to be questioned right but calling out for violence, I agree. No, you can't go out there and say, okay, everybody, let's go burn this house down. That's mob mentality. There are laws to hold people accountable for those crimes. You don't have to censor them. You hold them accountable. So accountability and censorship are two different beasts. How much money do I need to invest in? I don't know. It depends on where you're going to invest in, right? If you're going into the derivatives market, you need a lot of money because if you make the wrong call, you're gonna lose your shirt, right? Uh, I don't know. I haven't done commodity trading, okay? But I know what it requires in the markets. So cancel culture is basically an online boycott. Very interesting in hearing how that will destroy civilization. Earlier you were praising boycotts. Boycotts, yeah. I think the counterculture was about people preventing people from making a living i agree with boycotting corporations for sure if you don't agree with a corporation sure you have the right to boycott them if you disagree with an individual's perspective dante if you disagree with the individual's perspective you have no right mm. to go steal their mail to make sure they don't get their check in the mail if they still get their check in the mail you have no right to hack their account to make sure they don't get direct transfer you have no right to as an individual to prevent them from making a living okay making getting an individual to make a living if you're talking about corporations or countries by all means boycott away and you can boycott by the way you can boycott individuals as well just don't consume their product and that's what boycotting corporations and countries is don't consume their product okay this is actively trying to prevent them from making money, preventing their audience from supporting them. It's intrusive versus uh, passive, right? You sure, surely can reach their I thought your yoga. I, I could honestly listen to Chicho talk all day. I wish I could. I, well, I don't know. All day would be too much. Jackson, thank you. Yeah. 
I am heavy in the Eastern philosophy. Nice. But many times I wish I was born in an earlier time, say 1700s. Really? Well, I am from the East. I don't, I wouldn't be reluctant to share the information I learned. Thought experiment. Oh, there's, what's a thought experiment, Robert? All of us have souls which are as old as the universe, over 13 billion years. We are cursed into rebirth because until our souls keep falling, uh, failing, reaching a certain level of purity, we have all lived our millions of lives as sentient beings all over the universe as different species, and we have failed every time. Our existence right here and now is proof of it. Each rebirth, will, we, we are cursed to forget our previous life. The whole meaning of life is purely the soul, so this world. Um, that's something, Robert, that's uh, in, in different science fiction, fantasy stuff, too. Uh, I don't agree with it. Okay. I don't agree this is a miserable existence. It's been, it's had hard times, but it has brilliant moments as well, right? I quite enjoy life. So that's a counterexample to this thought experiment. I got to go to laundry. Love the stream. See you later. See you later. Thank you for being here. See you next time, chat. Much love, Chicho. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Or sister. Can we talk about psychedelics and evolution in the next stream? We could, Jackson. Let, uh, send me a message and we we can definitely do again. Uh, uh, you know, I'll try to set one up maybe for next week. We'll definitely do current events again, but we'll talk about that. This wasn't really, I guess this was a little bit, uh, it wasn't as current events heavy, uh, right? I wouldn't uh, say cursed. Yeah, I wouldn't say cursed either. I enjoy this existence. Nobody's talking about stealing their mail. Well, they're, they're talking about preventing them getting them deplatformed like off patreon now patreon is a corporation right and they're getting people deplatformed because they don't agree with what they said now if patreon is a platform that is supposed to be just a place where creators can get funding for the work that they're doing through other individuals uh, i disagree with that okay subscribe star is there too so people are generating money through subscribe star or direct donations there is a difference between boycotting countries and governments than preventing individuals from making a living by passing legislation uh, not even legislation like legislation is even have passed corporations are rewriting their terms of service to prevent certain people from making money and then where for example airbnb comes out and prevents uh, uh, you know, uh, apartments, housing in occupied territories to be on their thing. All of a sudden, governments step in and go, "Oh, you can't do that," and then they have to pull back and say, "Okay, okay, okay, okay." Big difference going on here. On my take, anyway. Where are you from, Papa Jackson? I would love to learn on of your experiences. Now, is this thought experiment? What if you could actually see glimpses from those previous lives through meditation small insights here and there billions of years worth of information and here's the thing here's another thought experiment robert good point here's another thought experiment if we are all one then maybe the glimpses that we're seeing are not glimpses of our previous lives maybe it's someone else's previous life right so we could take it further as well okay stream spent the last two hours baking cooking eating it's been a fun listen and as always thanks John. my pleasure thank thank you for being here hi chicho i'm kind of drunk but i love you thank you very much for the love, love man and on that note gang thank you for being here fun fun stream it's really fascinating to see how south american mysticism and cult practices have a similar link with the eastern culture i am still researching on shamanism Maybe you can share more about it. Yeah, shamanism is more my cup of tea. I've read a fair bit about it and stuff like that. But uh, for sure, Jackson, we can do a stream on uh, entheogens and meditation and stuff as well. Uh, just send it a reminder on Discord, and I'll try to set one up for next week or send me a message. Thank you so much. 
a new shining beacon in my life oh my pleasure Liam thank you for being here thank you for the questions okay gang uh, aside from that I'll set up probably streams for next Friday and Saturday and thereafter next week uh, I'll have most likely the opportunity to set up some more streams okay hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and thank you for being here nice and future thanks for the stream my pleasure Eduardo thank you for being here I'll see you guys in the next stream gang bye for now